Anthony, my name is Paul. I'm with Eastwind SEO and I've partnered up with Royal Elevation to bring you this video showing you some tips on how to improve your online presence, maybe drive some more traffic to your website, gain a little bit more business through that. Um, you spoke with Nathan earlier about this video and I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to go over content citations and backlinks right now. Um, I have your website pulled up right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. It's a nice looking website, you know, nice big picture in the background, a little gritty on the picture. Um, it looks a little pixelated, but you know, that's not a huge deal. Um, you do have your financing options, your phone number, uh, get a quote, you know, these call to action buttons are always important to have right up front along with your chat bubble down here, which is great. Um, you know, as we move down, uh, you know, some more pictures, looks like you got some reviews, which is always good. Uh, not much to it though. I would definitely recommend some more content on your homepage. Um, and the reason for this is, uh, Google loves content, right? We always recommend at least 1500 words of content on your homepage because it allows you to put in some really good buyer intent keywords. So when Google is crawling your website, those keywords, they are going to find them and it's going to tell them about, you know, your business, what it is you do, the areas you serve, the services you offer, you know, so on and so forth. Um, also when people are, you know, typing those keywords into Google and searching those keywords because they're in your content, you're going to be relevant for those searches and therefore you will show up more often in those searches. Um, so that is my tips on content and keywords. We're going to jump right into a Google search right now. Um, HVAC services in Albany, New York is an example of a keyword. Um, you're going to see some ads show up at the top, right? So ads are a great way to gain some clients. Um, they allow you to target a specific audience, uh, therefore getting your business name to show up in front of the eyes of people that are more likely to go with your services. Um, so you can definitely see some really good results from that. As we move down, we have the organic map pack or not the organic map pack. I'm sorry, the Google map pack. This is the top three of the map pack. Definitely a place you want to be in. Um, you can definitely see some uh, traffic flow, you know, going to these top three businesses in, you know, in this Google map pack. Um, they get a good chunk of business just from being in that top three alone. Um, and that's going to be your Google business profile to get up in that top three map pack you want to have your google business profile filled out as much and as accurately as possible with all of your business information have it optimized for seo you know have your pictures in there get them all get their alt text you know properly uh, optimized keep it updated on maybe a weekly basis um, and get it into as many online directories as possible so that's going to be anything like yellow pages angie's list Yelp, you know, there are hundreds of online directories that you can get your business name into and you're going to get citations back from them. And that's what we're going after here. You generally want to have more citations coming back to you uh, than these guys that are showing up in that in that top three. And that will bump you up to one of those top three spots in the uh, Google map pack. So moving on down from there, we have your organic search results. So Yelp and Angie is not really something too concerning about they are you know just um you know a directory you really want to focus on trying to overtake you know your direct competitors website so if these guys were an example of a direct competitor um you would want to go and take a look at them you would want to go and see what they're doing to get up in that top three right and see what you can do to improve upon your own website to try and outrank them and to do that uh, I use a tool called Ahrefs, and we're going to take a look at that right now. Um, I've already put you guys through here. So we want to take a look at these numbers right here. Uh, the UR and DR of your website. The UR being a trust rating or how trustworthy your website is according to Google. Um, and the DR being a power rating or how powerful your website is. Um, you know, not much going on here. I mean, these are always, you know, there are always ways to improve these numbers, which is great. Sometimes the, you know, it just doesn't have any data come through just because it didn't pick up on anything yet. Um, so to get these two numbers up, 
And that, that's generally what you want to do is keep them within close ratio to each other and try to get them up as high as possible. To do that, you want to work on your backlink profile. So your backlinks, you know, a backlink is going to be anything that is linking back or pointing back to your website from an outside source, whether that be a comment blog or maybe, uh, you know, another website, something like that. The point here is to have powerful backlinks coming from powerful referring domains that are going to pass that power through that backlink to your website. And you want them to be quality backlinks. You want them to be coming from websites that are relevant to your service industry. You don't want random websites linking back to you because that'll come across as spammy in Google's eyes. Um, and that will potentially throw up some red flags. Um, if they see it as spam, they're going to, you know, it's going to hurt your ranking abilities and it also will hurt your numbers here as well. So to do that and try and improve these numbers, you know, you are, your UR is more closely connected to your website, what's on it, you know, what's connected to it, your content and how it's laid out, all that kind of stuff. And your DR is going to be with your backlink. So to improve your backlink profile, you could take a look at your competitors, right? So this Roland, Roland, uh, JD, is I think number three they were they were on the uh, organics and we can take a look at their numbers obviously a huge difference in their numbers they're getting a lot of traffic um, they do have a ton of backlinks right so you can go in go through their backlink profile we can go through every one of their backlinks see what's working for them um, because they're in the same service industry you know those backlinks are going to work for you as well. So we can go through all the backlinks, see what backlinks are working, go out and get those backlinks for ourselves. Um, you can do the same thing with their keywords too, right? You can, you know, get a list of your top competitors that are showing up in, you know, whatever areas you guys are trying to show up for, uh, you know, go through their backlink or, or not their backlink, but their organic keyword profile, see what keywords are working for them, um, you know, and then go and throw some content on your home page and you know maybe on your service pages or your location pages as well um, because you can go th through and see what keywords are working for them what's driving traffic to their uh, website and you can add that into your content um, you know you can definitely see some really good results from that so with that being said those are my top three tips for you um, you know I hope you found some good information in this video some helpful information these tips are definitely some thing, things that can bring some good results you can definitely implement themselves or yourself or you could always reach out to us as well either way i hope you found this video you know informative and you know i just want to say thanks for taking the time to check it out we really do appreciate it and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day